But uh, nonetheless, I mean, a very interesting week in college football. Uh, we're getting down to the wire now. We have a playoff ranking out. Uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, some teams that have pretty much set themselves apart. And, you know, going over the standings one more time, uh, I mean, gosh, I'm, I'm going to ask you this question after I, after I give you mine, who I think the four best teams in the country are. Um, you know, I, I really think right now the four best teams in the country um, are Georgia, uh, Alabama, Ohio State, and I'm going to say Oklahoma. And, and, and the reason I say that is because, yeah, they've struggled, but they've won, okay? Um, you think those are the four best teams? I think those are the four in best. In that order. In, in that order, yeah, I think so. I, I I don't want to. I don't want to slight Michigan State um, because they they've uh, they they won a big game against uh, Michigan, but they really haven't played anybody up to that game. Okay, so we're going to find now. My my top four may change after the next few weeks because if Michigan State gets through their last four games undefeated, they are they are definitely one of the four best teams in the country. But uh, they've got some tough ones coming up. So right now, I mean. L- you know, I've got to go with Georgia, Alabama, and Ohio State for sure, and then I would put Oklahoma at number four only for two reasons. One, they're undefeated, and I think their schedule is a little bit tougher. A little bit tougher, well, a lot tougher than Cincinnati's, but maybe a little bit tougher than Michigan State's up to this point. Okay? Okay. I would say my my four in this order would be Georgia, Alabama, Michigan State, and Ohio State. Okay. All right. Um, you said you said Michigan State hasn't really beat anybody. No, right? Not up to this, not up to the Michigan game. No. Right. Well, look at Ohio, so they have one they have one game where they beat somebody. Right. How's Ohio State any different? You're right. They have they they've beaten Minnesota, Tulsa, Akron, Rutgers, Maryland, Indiana. And they had the one game at Penn State, yeah. and they lost the game to to Oregon. To Oregon. Yeah. So that's a good point. So I don't I don't see how they're. I mean, unless you just want to say just watching them, you think they're the better team, which is fine. I'm just saying if you want to really go by haven't won a game or against somebody good, I think. That's kind of a yeah wash, but yeah, those are my four. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think I think uh, you know it goes <laughs> when you when you start looking at teams in college football, you know it's it's hard because I still go back to what Bill Parcells used to say, right? You are what your record says you are, right? And if you look at this right now, Michigan State is undefeated and Ohio State's not, right? You are what your record says you are. That 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 quote means something in the NFL. Right. But you're not what your record says you are in college football. Correct. You have a strength of schedule thing. You're right. You're right. Because otherwise, otherwise Cincinnati should be number two or three or whatever. Right. But everyone knows they're not. Right. So that, that well, quote, I, that quote's a good quote for the for the NFL. Well, let me ask you this question: Do you have any problem with the top five teams in the playoff rankings right now? I don't. The way they're the way they're listed. Yeah, Oklahoma should be ahead of Oregon and Ohio State. Okay. Well, okay. I just said Ohio State thinks a better team, yeah. so they should be ahead of Oregon. Okay. All right. yeah. But Oregon should be ahead of Ohio State, shouldn't they? Because they both well, have one loss. Again, if you're going by, if you're asking me who I think is a better team, I think Ohio State's better than Oregon, even though Oregon beat them. I just, I know that's weird to say, mm-hmm. but I think they're a better team than Oregon. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. You can't really put them. I just did, I guess, when you asked my four teams. But, but, but again, I'm based on who I just think is a better. Like, who do I think would fare better in the playoffs? Right. Ohio right, State. Right. I agree. Or with that. Oregon. But, I agree I, but, with that. I, but, but, yeah. So I guess you, it, it, it depends on what you're talking about. Again, if you're talking about who's going to fare better in the playoffs, you know, or you're talking about just looking at the strength of schedule, strength of schedule and record, where should teams be? If you look at the latter, Oklahoma should be up there. If you, mm-hmm. but if you just talk about who's going to fare better in the playoffs, I don't think Oklahoma's that good of a team. Right. So I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem where they're at, based on how good of a team they are. Right. Well, I still do because I think they're a better team than Cincinnati. But I just think there's two different ways to approach it. I mean, I feel like this ranking, just like my problem with all the AP <laughs> rankings, is that it seems like they're trying to juggle two different methods of, of ranking people. Right. They're trying to juggle the method of we just think this team is better. Right. And they're trying to juggle the, the method of, but this team has a better record and a better team. you got to pick one or the other. Right. Well, I, I think, too, uh, you know, I think you have to look at, you know, you have to look at strength of schedule, right? I mean, you know, that's got to be a factor. Like, let's look at Cincinnati right now, okay? Uh, they beat Miami of Ohio. They beat Murray State. They beat Indiana. They did beat Notre Dame. They beat Temple. They beat UCF. They struggled with Navy. Okay, so if Notre Dame comes out this week uh, and beats Navy pretty handily, 
I think that hurts Cincinnati a little bit. I mean, a little bit because they they struggled with Navy. And again, this is the problem with college football because it's right. so weird. But if if they, if Notre Dame kills Navy and they end up running, they end up running the rest of their games. There's a case to be made that they're a better football team than Cincinnati, even though Cincinnati beat them. I know that sounds weird, right? But come on, who do you think is really going to play some of these teams closer, like Alabama and Georgia, Mississippi State, Notre Dame or Cincinnati? Right. Notre Dame's going to play them closer. They're right. not going to win. Right. Right. I agree but, with that. But that's but it's just, but it's so weird for for people I think to look at it and see Cincinnati beat Notre Dame and they're below them. That's why I think they don't the committee doesn't fully commit to this whole we're just going to pick who we think is better because they know how strange that would look. Right. To people. Right. right. But that's why college football so ridiculous in, in ranking teams. Right. That's why you need, which maybe we'll talk about when we have an off week of football, that's why you need some better system. You need some type of system that, that I don't know. You, you need some system where you can purely look at record. Right. Is what you need. Right, right. I agree. And, and even if you want to expand the playoffs, you still have the same problem. You need a different setup of conferences and, and stuff like that. Right, right. Well, I agree. And, and we'll, we'll have a special show to talk about that uh, because I think there's got to be a way to separate these teams based on the fact that uh, that you can't compare them because they don't play everybody doesn't play each other and everybody doesn't play equal teams right uh, yeah. that's that's kind of the situation that we're looking at in college football. Uh,